What is going on ladies and gents of YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today's episode 3 of the Chino Plays Warframe series and it's a special Nintendo Switch edition. I'd just like to say thanks very much for the support I've had on the last couple of videos. You made it very clear that I can continue playing through this series and like I really need a reason because I have to say that I am completely addicted already. So thanks very much for those views and thanks very much to those of you who have recently subscribed to the channel and welcome. Now today's video is all about Cetus. I jump over to Cetus which is pretty much a hub for the Tenno and I grab a couple of quests there and I just continue the grind. I learn a little bit more about the systems that are in place but really I am reaching out to you guys because I'd like to learn more. I want to know more about the currency system, I want to know what it is from the marketplace that I should get, what sort of weapons I should be going for, what Warframe I should be grabbing as well if I want to get a little bit more ahead into the game. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do and I uh, hope you like today's video. If you do of course I'd love it if you left a like and uh, let's Jump straight into it. Enter. You're going to allow me to enter? Okay, well, I have a surprise for you. Yes, you're the bad guy. You get it. Metal maggot. <laughs> oh, the dagger. Shit. Is there a console around here? Probably not. I guess I just have to make my way through. Okay, well I thought there was another guy shooting me. So silly, it's such a small target to open these things. Anyway. I still want to open them, of course.
Music change. Okay, we've got a few coming. I can do that with my eyes closed. Surprise! Surprise! A gleaming maggot squirmed into my ship! Well, let's see you slip out of this one! <laughs> Gonna keep hitting him. Covered all of the shards they heck discovered. Get to extraction. Uh, back to your extraction. <laughs> wow, that was pretty full on, wasn't it? According to this, I played three days in a row. I must have really started my gameplay right at the end of the first day because I kind of got day one and day two on my first gameplay experience. But anyway, um, let's continue to log in and get rewards. This is Honor of the Lotus, what is 50% market purchase, so I don't know what that is <laughs> exactly. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to give me some hints and some tips that will help me Get a little bit better at this game and understand some of these things there is so much information to process it is insane but i do like that there are tutorials for almost anything and um you know every time i sort of go into stuff uh there is there is some explanation happening so uh, i'm not too concerned i know that the learning curve is huge like i said before in my first video but we are going to get straight into a mission because we want to play let's jump into navigation let's have a look at what this quest is next objective is venus junction so here's the list of things we need to complete for this and we need to apply four mods to a single warframe weapon we haven't done that but the weapon itself isn't capable of holding four yet so we'll get there eventually upgrade any mod to rank two or higher through the fusion process I haven't done any fusion yet so we will do that as well defeat three Eximus enemies on earth all right so let's do some stuff on earth based on the fact that we've got a way everything in orders operator is that a pun hmm, hmm. Is I it? will attempt to bypass this fault please do please do okay so at this stage if we look at the mods it goes a little something like this so let's get an upgrade here okay so that green means it's a reduced cost that's why it's only a true cost for 40 shield capacity now i'm starting to understand so if we threw there's no other polarities here at this stage but if we threw the polarity that looks like a y symbol so continuity ability duration and if i put it there it would probably be halved cool Alright, well since I've used all of my egg capacity, it's probably not going to help me to do that yet. But now we're understanding. That is cool. If I may say, Operator, your chosen Warframe suits you. Ha, ha. Wow. <laughs> so let's just go here, let's see what it is that we find. Let's 
see what Cetus has to offer. I know it's not a mission. I mean, what we're seeing here is a huge map. Um, and this is just a city, like I said. I, I was pretty confident this place was just a city. Ew. That's how you get out of your ship? Are you serious, man? Hey, dude, what's going on? Ah, traveler. This morning, by her grace, the temple offered up herself a particularly rich find of cellular protoessence just below the Stratum Germanativum. Right. Are you aware that there are, um, there are trees moving through the rock below you? Just saying. Just saying, dude. Just saying. Swazdula, offworlder. Interested in working for me? Gotta prove yourself first. Head out on the plains and show me what you can do. That was straight to five. Let's Couldn't try this. get anyone to take that on. Enter. You're going to allow me to enter? Are you still trying to load? Is that what's going on here? Um, okay, dude. Hmm. This is not what I had in mind. That took the ages. site of an historic battle between the Orican and a great sentient. These plains are a vast graveyard of the sentients who attacked the tower long ago. If local legends are true, you do not want to be out here at night. Ooh, um, Kanzu is that's right. I am. The Grenier can never be allowed to live comfortably on the plains. Let's make this place as inhospitable as possible for them. How are we going to do that? All your work has led to this. Take out as many Grenier as you can. Okay, sure. I mean, that probably goes without saying, right? What if they, there's a, on the minimap, there's a yellow circle, I'm guessing, is my... Target spotted. Strike fast and take out as many as you can. Going. They won't be able to sustain these casualties for much longer. Stop jumping in the way, dude. Okay, we're gonna get some headshots, don't we? Um I'm guessing we should have finished off what we started. More Grenier amassing nearby. Get over there and take the left. That's interesting. Are you broken? Okay, you're just a hologram, I suppose. Yeah, you look pretty cool, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I that's... give you coordinates. You go uh -huh. in, you uh -huh. work. Uh -huh. Nobody but you comes out. Good? Uh, yep. 
Hey dude, you look pretty cool. I like your um your stuff, your warframe, and he's gone. This is such a slow load. Ugh, if this happens every time, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. Project. The Oricon Tower is what protects Cetus from Grenier. We can't give them the opportunity to attack it. Okay. A regiment of Grenier combat engineers who have been ordered to assemble the weapons array is massing at my waypoint. Go there and take them out. Up there? I've located another mass of enemies. Take the fight to them. Where'd he go? Are they running? Bring Onko back to me, but miss a trick, and I'll take care of business myself. All right, Tenno. Be careful out here. Grenier numbers increase the further you venture from Cetus. Patching the Ostrons to your signal now. Just keep this up. Ay, oh, this is it. This is where the Grenier found some of Onko's work. Has he been hiding here? That's a whole six minutes and sixteen seconds of nothing. Just walking around looking for stuff to do, but it was nothing. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this series as much as I am making it and playing it. This has been episode three of the Chino Plays Warframe Nintendo Switch series. And once again, if you did like today's video, I'd love it if you hit that like button. Hit subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can get all of your episodes in your inbox. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.